I'm not too much that this is just getting ex you know you can't talk about the Holy Ghost and just keep quiet you know just stay in one place yeah I, I you know yesterday I felt like busting you know just busted out of this place because it's so exciting you know those people that don't have the Holy Ghost I wonder how they live their lives I'm not just saying this because I'm preaching it this is my life praise God I, I can't have a dull moment you know why because the Holy Ghost in me, I you know what I call him. I call him a talkative. He's always talking. I mean, you look to the right, he'll tell you something about the right. You look to the left, he'll tell you something. Anywhere you look to, as long as you are mindful of him. See, he's always talking. Now, that, that's why when you hang around people, some of us, you know, sometimes, in no time, say, the, the Spirit of God just told me this. The Spirit of God just, you know, the Spirit of God just explained something to me. Say, yes, Spirit, someone asked me. Well, not several people, you know, you talk about the Holy Spirit like both of you live in the same bedroom. No, we don't live in the same bedroom. He lives inside of me. So it's more than living in the same bedroom. Praise God. Now, we've been talking from Jude chapter, Jude verse 20 and 21. He says, building up yourself on your most holy faith. And he tells us how to do it brain in the holy ghost now that's what i shared with you yesterday see that's how it operates let me tell you this how do i move from being broke to always having this is this is it it's not a prophet prophesying into your life no 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 it's not someone praying or a prayer warrior praying for you no 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 no, no. it is you start laying the blocks of blessing and prosperity in yourself see listen i love what tl osborne said or is it tl osborne or daisy osborne one of them said it says work on being and not on having because with what you are you will have the reason some of some people are broke is because of who they are they are poor now not because they don't have money but that is just who they are they are poor and the truth is poor people don't have money are you getting what i'm saying now someone can be in a position where he has access to millions and yet be poor do you, do you understand what i'm saying put millions into his hands it's gone the drain in the next second why because he is poor that's how he sees himself so the moment he gets that money say ah, i know this money will disappear i know this money will finish because he is poor that's who he is so how do you change that kind of a person he has to start putting the right blocks to build up himself on his most holy faith he has to change from that place of being poor and go up to the place of being rich now being rich doesn't mean having your bank account flowing with money being rich listen it's, it's a building that you build yourself up into in the Holy Ghost I'm telling you and then you get to that place where you just know you can never be broke you just know you have access to funds you just know it and so sometimes when we say look take us and put us anywhere in the world we'll do well you know why because we are rich so if it's a bear that's going to bring me money it will bring the money wherever I am it is not because of something physical that we have done it is because we have built ourselves to that place in the holy ghost that we just know see that's who we are when you are rich you attract things that that go with richness do you understand what i'm saying when you are poor you attract poverty when you are rich the same thing you can move from being sick to being healthy the same thing you can whatever whatever you want to build your life into this is where it comes now he says praying in the holy ghost then look at what he says in verse 21 oh i love this listen as i just thought about it now you know the, the anointing of god's spirit just went through see listen keep yourselves notice he said you keep yourselves in the love of god now what does it mean to keep yourself in the love of god keep yourself in the word of god keep yourself there what has god said to you now just think about it you are praying in the holy ghost and words are coming to you maybe you're thinking oh i'm done for maybe this year is all over for me i i don't think anything can come out of this year again i just feel oh, this year I've, I've been a failure this year all right start doing what i'm telling you now building you need to build yourself up from that place of discouragement to a place of courage 
Praise God. So you begin to build yourself and build yourself and then the word of the Lord comes to you and say, look son, I have made you rich. Or the Lord say, look, every word I have spoken to you, I have to. You know, that's how God speaks. God speaks in past tense. God says, every word I have spoken, I will fulfill. You know, he, he will say, I have fulfilled. <laughs> Praise God. That's how God talks. So it's not on God. It's now on you to see what he has done. So as you are praying like that and words are coming to you, see, you are receiving that word and then the next thing he says, he says, keep yourself in the love of God. That word that you have received, keep yourself in it. Let it guard you. See, it, it, it's the boundaries of your life. Say, can you know? No, I can't because see, I'm keeping myself in the word of God. I'm keeping, the word of God is the love of God. Because God is love and he, and he is See, the word is God. See, John, John chapter 1 says, The beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. And then, first John, the same John, you know, he tells us, God is love. So when he says, keep yourself in the love of God, he's talking about keep yourself in the word of God. Praise God. That's where to stay. What has God said to you? Don't move from it. You know why? I'm going to tell you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day today. Bye-bye.